this is the right one. Okay. Okay, so uh, a few a few statistics of, about the project uh, in uh, general and a few information about the project. Uh, first, uh, about um, uh, it's important to remember that uh, we have an annual report uh, providing a lot of information about the project. Of course, the annual report is about the last year, but it provides plenty of info over the last year. You can uh, download uh, a low resolution, an high resolution, and the original German uh, report from the links uh, provided in this uh, in this slide. Um, which were the source of income of uh, TDF in 2019? Uh, as you can see, the majority was donation by via paypal and then donation by a credit card then there is a smaller percentage of other donations uh, advisory board member fees and uh, other income uh, uh, which is uh, really minor percentage so uh, basically um, almost nine over 90 percent uh, of all the money is from donations and uh, these donations are mostly from uh, individuals uh, this uh, is uh, something uh, that we would like to uh, improve uh, in terms of uh, not stopping individuals uh, from donating but having uh, also organizations uh, uh, either donating or uh, uh, paying money uh, to companies in the ecosystem because uh, the at the moment uh, the situation is rather unbalanced uh, uh, and uh, it's a little bit of a pity that individuals are uh, giving uh, a lot more than uh, enterprises to LibreOffice. These are expenses, uh, so um, the the. Um, the biggest chunk uh, is uh, for the the team of people that are working uh, uh, full time uh, to to or in some cases part time to keep the project going. Then uh, we have community uh, tenders and uh, other expenses. Uh, um of course in 2020 uh, the numbers are a little bit different because uh, we didn't have travels uh, so the uh, next year the the numbers will be slightly different uh, uh, unfortunately for a reason we all know that uh, uh, the limitation that we have got so far uh, have not been uh, really an advantage for uh, a project like ours where uh, meeting face to face in some cases is quite important these uh, uh, are donations per day per month uh, each uh, small uh, small chunk a uh, small um, uh, brick is a day as you can see uh, we we had a significant improvement uh, since uh, September last year uh, when uh, we started showing uh, every uh, six months uh, a banner on top of uh, the LibreOffice uh, start screen where uh, there was an invitation to donate. Uh, immediately after this was uh, shown on the LibreOffice uh, start screen we had a 25 to 40 percent increase uh, in uh, donations uh, and i would say not only in terms of numbers but also in terms of amounts so the numbers have increased but also the average amount uh, has slightly increased and uh, um, uh, the, the libreoffice uh, had a real uh, um, was growing uh, quite significantly during the pandemic. As you can see, March, April, and May, 
uh, are the three months where mo where we got more donations and we got more downloads of LibreOffice. Probably many people locked at home uh, uh, install LibreOffice on their uh, on their PCs. These are donations uh, by quarter. Uh, we keep track of this because, of course, uh, it is important to have uh, a regular uh, income uh, to guarantee that the project uh, uh, has solid basis. And uh, this is a comparison of monthly donations with previous years. So, so uh, 2019 is yellow, 2018 is red, and 2017 is blue. Uh, in 2017, as you can see, we had a, a drop uh, and uh, we this triggered a change on, uh, in, the, in the donation page and in uh, the way that donations were uh, promoted uh, after uh, downloads. Uh, these, uh, this is the amount of total recurring donation and PayPal and Stripe. Uh, and uh, uh, these are the total amount of donations, so not just recurring, which are uh, those monthly, quarterly, or yearly. Uh, these are uh, including also one-shot donations, and uh, it's uh, is a very good results uh, so far in uh, 2020. These are downloads uh, um, 20. 2019 is missing, uh, uh, is not missing uh, by, b for a mistake, is uh, deliberately missing because in 2000, in the first six months of 2019, uh, there were a few episodes uh, which screwed up completely the numbers. So it was uh, completely meaningless to, to compare the numbers of 2019 with the numbers of the other years. Uh, we probably had some uh, bot uh, um, triggering uh, false donations uh, uh, up to getting numbers which were uh, double or triple uh, to the of the current uh, real ones um, in 2020 numbers are um, have a, an additional level of cleanliness he has worked very hard to to clean uh, the numbers. So uh, the numbers in 2020 look similar to 2000 to 2018, but they're probably the, the 2018 uh, are slightly higher than uh, the reality. And uh, this is a comparison with downloads with donations. The red line are donations. As you can see, it is very difficult to predict. We had spikes of donations. Uh, uh, over downloads and we have spikes of downloads over donations we try to keep track uh, we this is uh, updated on a weekly basis donations are updated on a daily basis we try to be responsive of any change and these are downloads by continent so 63 uh, percent is europe uh, the other continents are accounting for uh, smaller percentages. Um, we are probably the only uh, free software which is downloaded in Antarctica. Uh, there is a person that updates uh, uh, LibreOffice in Antarctica every regularly every three months. So we had four downloads in Antarctica uh, in 2020 so far. Uh, these are by operating system, 80% uh, is Windows. Uh, um, there is a large percentage, almost 10% of unknown. Uh, maybe they are uh, behind a firewall or something that doesn't allow us to, to guess uh, the operating system. Uh, then uh, we have Mac uh, and uh, GNU Linux. Uh, this, the, the GNU Linux is uh, increasing. Uh, and uh, is growing in general terms. Uh, we see uh, numbers in Linux, uh, but all, not only in uh, for LibreOffice, but in general uh, growing. And then there is a, a smaller number for other operating systems. 
Uh, in terms of estimate, uh, uh, we can say that the mix has slightly changed. So uh, Linux has increased, uh, Windows and Mac OS have slightly decreased. So the, the figure that we consider, which is around 200 million users, is still the right one. Uh, and uh, it is important to underline uh, that of this uh, uh, 200 million users, uh, probably half of them. Uh, uh, are not unique users. Some notes uh, uh, I already uh, told about 2019. Um, it is important to, to say that uh, for every download of LibreOffice from TDF, there, is, uh, there are between uh, uh, 0 0.5 and 1 downloads from other sources. Uh, they don't tell us uh, their numbers, but uh we we know that they that their uh, number of downloads for libreoffice is quite high uh and uh, this is one of the reason why they don't uh, give us the numbers because they usually associate the download of libreoffice to advertising on their website um uh, linux downloads is are negligible the majority of our linux users get uh, libreoffice from the distribution repositories these are uh, now we have some figures about development these are git commits by organization in 2019 up to the end of september so collabora is the biggest one 37 percent then we have 25 percent volunteers 21 percent red hat tdf cib uh, at five percent and then uh, we have uh, the uh, other organization contributing uh, smaller numbers, but they are all important. This uh, is uh, important to remember that all contributions uh, to an open source project are very important and are key for the health of the, uh, the ecosystem and the project. These are the top 20 Garrett committers, we, we will have to give uh, some kind of, um, uh, I don't know, to do trophy to Kaolan, uh, which who has been leading this, uh, this list for years and years. Uh, but it's important to show that uh, we, we have new contributors and people that this list is rather uh, dynamic and not all the same people are showing up every year. Uh, these are the same committers on Git. Uh, some numbers are different, some are exactly the same. These are the top uh, bug submitters. Uh, the, the, um, and I have said is uh, the LibreOffice team in, uh, in Hungary. Uh, then we have people from uh, other sources uh, submitting uh, bugs uh, to the to our system. Uh, yeah, this is one. Uh, these are the main contributors to Askbot. Uh, the they are providing mainly uh, questions to answers to questions uh, from users and these uh, are uh, community contributions community is uh, more uh, general so it's not just about code it's more or less about uh, everything that happens and is monitored by our uh, dashboard uh, if you don't know all these data are from dashboard.libreoffice.documentfoundation.org uh, 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 this uh, is a geography of the LibreOffice community. Uh, we cover a very large number of uh, countries. Uh, we would like to cover more. Dark green uh, is uh, where we have also members, not only, not only contributors. Uh, light green is where we have contributors. So it's uh, important that the dark green grows even further than. Uh, than uh, current 
and uh, that's uh, uh, all uh, uh, on my side uh, uh, i will unshare my screen if you have questions uh, i'm happy to answer them any question any remark uh, anything uh, i said uh, was not you did not agree or you would like to have some figures clarified or maybe other figures that i didn't add to the to the presentation this is entirely possible sorry uh, of course, uh, uh, putting all the information in in one single uh, slide deck sometimes you can uh, you can uh, uh, forget something um, italo um this is ashod i have a question sure um so i'm wondering uh, the update feature that we have um do we use that to you know uh, get a better sense of the numbers because i would expect that to work regardless of where it was downloaded or even if it was a distro repo download you know the update feature would still be available um uh, we we look at it but uh, the experience uh, says uh, tells us uh, that uh, um, it's uh, not really uh, representative of uh, the numbers of uh, uh, of active users uh, it is somehow giving an indication uh, but for instance, all the people that are uh, using LibreOffice in a, in an in a enterprise, even small one, they they might be blocked uh, from communicating with the, the outside, or they may have the uh, update uh, disabled by design because the uh, there is someone that wants to control it. So. Uh, the reality is that uh, the update feature uh, is uh, representing probably around 60%, uh, uh, not, not more than 60% of our install base in general. Uh, so it's, uh, it is, of course, uh, you know, the, the, our big issue is that we don't invoice anyone because invoicing uh, would be easy by invoicing it would be easy to have the numbers uh, but even uh, uh, if uh, the the and in addition we don't uh, consider if, even if they are basically libreoffice users in 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 fact they are libreoffice users we do not have visibility on uh, who is using collabora office or uh, uh, version of LibreOffice that are provided by uh, ecosystem companies. Uh, uh, I mean, we could probably put together the numbers and uh, not disclosing uh, the mix. Uh, that would help us in providing better numbers. Uh, maybe it's something that we should do. I don't know. It's uh, of course uh, we as TDF uh, we we provide the numbers very transparently. We it's a uh, it's open source uh, when when uh, you have people paying for the numbers uh, uh, then maybe you don't want to to give them these numbers i think uh, it's uh, providing uh, our real numbers is a huge challenge uh, it would be nice to have analysts doing this uh, but unfortunately analysts uh, um, let's say there is a company that is uh, strongly uh, that is providing analysts uh, very strong reasons not to disclose uh, uh, numbers of office suites in general. Uh, Italo? Yeah? Um, did you have, or, or could you uh, show the uh, download uh, graph again for yes. the week? Um, uh, with the uh, publishing of version 7.0 and how uh, was it um, oh i don't even it separate it that is on the uh, is on the yeah, i don't have the 
the, the link at the end uh, is on the uh, there is a, a page that is showing downloads. My my numbers are aggregate, so there is okay. not a. Uh, I know that there is a there is a web page. Uh, if Gilem is uh, is listening, uh, he knows uh, all the links by heart. But I'm I'm not no as, as smart as Gilem. Mm -hmm. No there, problem. There is anyway. There is a there is a a website providing. Uh, the numbers by version. Uh, if I rem let me, if I remember well, uh, the number of uh, 7.0 at the moment uh, is uh, equivalent, uh, uh, and I'm just thinking about the visual, the visual, uh, uh, the, the the color of the the, the two. Uh, we can say that if we divide all users all downloads by five uh, um, four uh, people are still downloading six uh, and one is downloading seven okay that was that, that was the fact that was interesting yeah thanks lothar you can uh, go to uh, stats.documentfoundation.org and okay. you will have some metrics there yeah yeah i know that you you know everything by heart but i thanks. don't thanks thanks Guillaume. No, it's actually higher at the moment. Yes, it's actually higher. Yeah. Actually, it's the opposite that I said. It's uh, four downloading seven and one downloading six. Oh, OK. <laughs> That's interesting. I, I can let me. Uh, uh, it's difficult to share my my because it's on another. Uh, no, 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 no. It allow, I will will have a look uh, there by myself. Thanks. Uh, yeah, but and uh, but Lothar, you know because uh, you you talk with a lot of users like uh, I I do that in some cases uh, people uh, will update. I would say years after they they, they should update. <laughs> If uh, yeah. it, we, it, for instance, just for the people that is not familiar, but we we have an address that is download at uh, libreoffice.org uh, for people that has uh, download issues of LibreOffice, and uh, two out of that ten messages, so twenty percent of messages, is uh, of people that try to install LibreOffice on Windows XP, but they don't have installed the uh, service pack one. So LibreOffice doesn't install. So we get, uh, you know, the, we, we get, uh, no, sorry, it's Windows 7. They, on Windows 7, uh, 20, the, the, the two people say, I would like to install the, the new version of LibreOffice, but it tells me that I cannot because uh, of this issue is, is an internal uh, um, error, Windows error, and the Windows error says they don't have uh, Windows 7 SP1 installed uh, in 2020, and uh, Windows 7 SP1 was released in March 2010. So for 10 years, they've been using Windows 7 uh, basically not secure and not updated <laughs> and this represents so what users are about yeah <coughs> okay okay i think uh, that everything is under control on the, on my other two screens and the sessions are now finished somehow on the two rooms on uh, indeed and then we yeah. are pretty much on time because the next yeah. talk is here in this room at 40 30 utc so in four minutes and then we caught up with the schedule and again apologies to everyone whose talk could not take place because we had issues uh, we're totally sorry for that and we, we try to find a solution but for now we are 
in the schedule. Yeah. And just also the announcement here that uh, at uh, 16.45 UTC, that is in two hours, we now plan a quick five to 10 minute maintenance window to further bump up the conferencing system just in case. So there will be a short downtime, about 10 minutes, 16.45. So we ask everyone and your talk by then, because uh, the last time we tried to wait and it didn't work because of overlapping talks, we make a hard reboot 16.45 for some uh, updates and, and, and especially bumping up DVM just in case. It works smoothly, but we want to be prepared. Yeah, Florian, let me, let me pay my respect for these um, urgent uh, um, um, change of, of these, um, of these uh, sits and, and uh, how it works uh, very well. Uh, very well done. Thank you. Also, Gilham, if he's still in the room. Thanks. Especially, Gilham, really kudos. You did a fantastic job. And I'm, I'm really happy to work with you and that you were running that or you are running that in that fashion really well done. Thanks, team.